trying, Jaytha. I'm trying to get an outside line. Oh, damn technology. Where is an old-fashioned princess phone when you need it? Don't die on me uh, like Fox and Pete did. Okay, I'm getting help. Um, number, number. Ah, oh, 911. Ah. Oh, oh, God, Jake. Oh, oh. Three in a row. Why does this keep happening to me? I'll deal with you later, okay? Right now, I have to find a spell to cancel yours. Oh, shh. Sheridan and Louise wouldn't be making love if you hadn't zapped them. I can't let Fancy see this. Then she's going to think Luis is betraying her and he isn't. Okay. Couples coupling who shouldn't be. Stop Fancy before she can see. Oh, shoot. I need another spell. Quick, quick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tabitha, I can't believe you did this. You have destroyed Luis and Fancy to ransom Miguel and Adora back. Thank you for the coffee, sweetheart. Oh, I thought you could use a little boost working so late. Actually, your pep talk was the boost that I needed, and I am going to take your advice. No more alcohol, no more pills. I understand that Vincent is dead, and that everything that happened... I thought that I heard him, or that I saw him, it was just my guilt feelings over failing him as a mother. I mean, look, we didn't know until recently that Vincent even survived infancy, let alone he was our son. That's true. But, Julian, I am the one who outed Vincent as being a, a blackmailer, a rapist, serial killer... To keep Luis from being executed. And of course, that was the right thing to do. But it did... It did come with a high price emotionally. That's right, Mom. And it's payback time. I regret what happened with Vincent, but I am not going to let it destroy me or my career. Good for you, Eve. Good for you. Poor mom. She doesn't know it yet. Her career is about to be ruined. Along with her life. Nurse, nurse, we need help over help, here. Help, please. Listen, Jonathan was just warm. You know, he was wrapped up in too many blankets. His temperature's 105. He's, he's burning up. I got your call, Mr. Winthrop. We're paging Dr. Russell. I will take your son in and prep him for examination. Here, can we come with you? I'm, can I'm, come in? No, I'm so sorry you can't. Listen, he's going to be fine, Ethan, okay? If we get his fever down, a temperature of 105, especially in an infant, is extremely dangerous. The, the longer it lasts, the greater the risk of brain damage. So you're just overreacting. I'm sorry. There's no time to waste talking. Excuse what? me. Well, I hope Jonathan doesn't pick up any germs being around all these sick people. Okay. He's got to be okay. He's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You better be. Or I don't know what I'll do. When? Honey, I got your message. What's wrong with Jonathan? Well, Teresa has Ethan all convinced that Jonathan's got a high fever. You know, I thought there was something off with him, remember? No. No, I don't. I don't. Honey, what, what is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Teresa has Ethan all worked up over nothing, okay? Not that. That. Honey, why... Are you over here? And Teresa is over there comforting Ethan about your son. Sure to making love yet. I'll settle down. Tabitha, no, I'm not gonna let you ruin Luis and Fancy's happiness, okay? Just ransom Miguel and Andorra. There's gotta be another way to get them back. Right now, I have to undo the disaster you're about to detonate. <sighs> okay. 
Round and round they go. Stop them where they're not in the know. <laughs> well, it wasn't Shakespeare, but I think it worked. What's going on? Uh, how did we get here? I don't know. Last thing I remember, we were at the sleazy hotel waiting for Spike to hold up his end of the bargain and get us Morty back. Ah, I did it. I kept fancy from seeing Luis and Sherry to making laugh. Oh, wait a second. I wonder what happened to Fancy. Esme? What's going on? Oh, um, I can explain. Uh, I think. Wait, how did I get here? Uh, I don't know. I was leaving you a message and then there you were. What, but I was just at a sleazy hotel. Okay, normally I'd be dying for details, but first things first. <laughs> okay, um, please tell me whoever that is, he's sleeping. Well, that's Jake and I wish he was sleeping. Oh, Esme, don't tell me he's dead. Poor Jake is dead. How? What happened? I don't know. Uh, we were playing a little game and then Jake was stiff and not in a good way. Oh, God, why is this happening? Fancy, why do all of my dates end up dead? Why is that toxic taco over there with Ethan? You should be with him, reassuring him that Jonathan's going to be okay. Mother, I was at the mansion. That's what I said. I kept telling Ethan Jonathan is going to be just fine. But, of course, Miss Know-It-All over there convinces him Jonathan is really in trouble and needs to come to the hospital. How could you let this happen? You think it's my fault Jonathan has a fever? No, I am blaming you for Teresa being here at all. I mean, didn't you talk to Pilar about keeping her away from Ethan? Yes, and she's working on it. I even talked to Teresa about keeping her distance. Uh, I managed to get Jonathan's fever down to 102, but that's still too high. What is what is wrong with him? I don't know, but I'm having some test runs so that we can determine that. But he's going to be okay, right? Of course he will be. Well, let's hope so. You don't know for sure, Teresa. Just don't don't look for trouble, okay? I I I want Jonathan to be okay. Yes, we all do. We just need to get his fever down, so you can keep us posted, then, right? Of course, I will. So, if you'll excuse me. If he he he'll be okay, right? He'll be fine. I wish I could say that, Ethan, but uh, I can't because a sustained high fever is a very dangerous thing. Especially in an infant. How dangerous? I'm doing everything that I can. Uh, in the meanwhile, you know, it, it never hurts to pray. Oh, my God. No, 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 don't, don't. Oh, my God. Don't let fear win. Have faith. Let's do what okay. Dr. Russell said. And pray, okay? Don't worry, Ethan. You'll still have one son left after Jonathan's dead and buried. My dear old mom doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to frame her for Jonathan's death. Excuse me, son. Oh, good. I did it. I stopped Fancy from finding Sheridan and Louise making love. Look, Tabitha, I know you're upset because I stopped you from using evil to ransom Miguel and Adora, but you're just going to have to get over it, Okay. There's got to be another way to get them back. I just have to figure out what that is. I can't just keep going around trying to fix things. Still trying to cover your tracks, I see. Hey, Dad. Okay, what's going on? Nothing. I was just um, telling myself, you know, that I had to fix some things around here. <laughs> Let me guess. You're planning on killing poor Fluffy so the cat can't lead us to where you buried Miguel and Dora and Tabitha. So, Dad, what brings you by? We got the results back from the blood that we found on the kitchen floor. You did. Tell her, Sam. Tell her. Doesn't look good, Kay. Doesn't look good for you at all. You know... If only we had seen Marty at the hotel instead of Fancy. You could have overpowered whoever chloroformed her. I could have gotten Marty out of the car, and then he'd be with us Sharon, right now. I know. It's killing me, too, okay? 
Now, I don't know what kind of game your little friend Spike is playing, but I'm going to go find him. I'm going to get some answers from no, him. No, no, we cannot make Spike angry. He is our only chance at getting Marty back. Damn it, Sheridan, we held up our end of the deal. You gave Spike tons of money. I, I went against everything that I believe in, and I got rid of his criminal records. Well, he kept his word. He arranged for us to get Marty at that sleazy hotel. You know what? It's not his fault. The fancy threw a wrench into things and stopped us from getting Marty back. You know, if it weren't for her, we would have Marty back right now. Are you kidding me right now? You're blaming Fancy again for what happened? Um, excuse me, but she wasn't supposed to be there. Well, what happened is not her fault. Okay. Well, then whose fault is it? Who didn't believe me when I said Marty was at the hotel? Who never believes me when it comes to our son, huh? He's really dead, isn't he? I'm afraid so. My hot top cop is a corpse. Oh, why, Jake? Why? Well, that's what I'd like to know, Esme. What did you do to him? Nothing. What? You, nothing? Oh, well, see, we were having a little sadomasochistic encounter, but nothing weird or kinky or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, I was trying not to think about it. Okay, uh, here's what happened. Uh, Jake started uh, choking and, and convulsing, and, and I thought he was just taking well to the punishment. It wasn't until he said he was dying that I realized anything was wrong, and then he, well, died. Okay, um, was he eating anything? No. Was anyone else here? Oh, please, we're not in France, and besides, it was our first date. I was, I want to come on too strong. Uh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. I mean, do you even see one hamster in here? What the hell does that mean? Oh, if, I, look, I know this looks bad, but I did not kill Jake, I swear. Okay, Esme, I never suggested that you killed Jake. I just confirmed that he's he's dead. Uh, well, I, I, I just assumed, because, you know, that you assumed because of what happened with Fox and Pete. What did you, Esme? Did you kill Jake? No! Why? Oh, do you think he was murdered? Oh, the last two men in your life were? Oh, that brings my recent track record for three, for three. Yeah. Oh, God, if somebody murdered Jake, you know, then who was it? The blood we found in the kitchen proved to be human. Well, then it has to be mine. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, I did I did cut my finger uh, slicing some fruit. Okay, the blood's are yours. <laughs> no surprise there. Whose is it? Well, we don't know. The lab is testing it now, trying to find a match. I know. It belongs to Tabitha, Miguel, or Endora when you kill them trying to cover your murderous tracks. Will you shut up? You don't know what you're talking about. Damn it, witch, you're stuffing me up. Okay. Okay, what did you say? Nothing. Right. Well, I'm going to go to the kitchen and see if I missed anything. Yeah, no, look around. I have nothing to hide. No, you mean you have nothing else to hide because you've covered everything up already. Dad, believe me, I did not do anything. You know, I don't think your victims would see it that way. Ivy, come with me. You have got to stop this before I end up in prison. Without me here to let you out, you're going to be stuck in that bag for good. Which what are you up to? I'm sorry. Okay? I know that I let you down tonight. Maybe Marty was at that hotel, uh, and I just didn't act fast enough to no, find him, okay? No, I'm sorry. No, that's what you say every time you fail to get our son back, okay? I told you Marty was there, but you didn't believe me. You never believed me. Well, I'm me. sorry. I thought Spike was setting us up. But he wasn't. All right, Fancy saw Marty, but he was whisked away before she could do anything about it. And, and I, I'm sure Spike or his contact got cold feet thinking that the police were involved. Right, look, you know what? I know that you are upset right now, okay? Yeah, yeah. But it is not Fancy's fault that we do not have our son back. <sighs> No, it's, it's, it's not your fault. It's, it's not Fancy's fault. It's, it's, it's just a situation. My nerves are just raw. <clears throat> you sure? Because yeah. you came down pretty hard on me earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's.
it's it's just my frustration talking. I'm fine now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go find Fancy then and make sure that she's okay. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. Well, what's in it? I, I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, Tabitha. I know you're behind that box appearing in Sheridan's cottage. What are you up to? I don't believe you killed Jake any more than I think you shot Fox or let that dog maul Pete to death. Or... Oh, well, thanks for believing in me, Hans. I mean, you know I wouldn't hurt anybody, not on purpose anyway. Even when I went on that shooting rampage because you took no Norman. Noah. Uh, sure. Even then, I, I made sure not to hurt either of you. True. True. But I, I wouldn't mention that um, to the DA if you don't have to. Oh, yeah, I see. In light of the... Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape off the room and do a preliminary sweep of it before the forensics gets here. Okay. And, and maybe we'll find a clue as to why Jake died. A clue that will prove you did not kill him. Okay. Quinn, do something. I mean, you should be there comforting Ethan about Jonathan, not letting Teresa do it. Look, just stop. I'm so sick of everyone making such a big deal out of this. Jonathan is fine. I just want to take him home. Yeah, with Ethan. Yeah. Yes. Honey, how is that going to happen? I mean, do you even know or understand what is going on here? I mean, look at them. If Ethan and Teresa are going to get any closer together, they're going to have to be fused together. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Because, honey, if anything happens to Jonathan, no. She's going to want to cheer him up. And what better way than to tell him that he has another son with her? The baby isn't responding to anything that we do, Doctor. Even so, continue the ice packs. And start him on an IV. Yes, Doctor. Julian! Never mind, son. I was looking for Dr. Russell. Here she is. All right? No, not really. Jonathan is not responding to treatment. Well, if anyone can save the child, you can. After what happened to Mr. Farnsworth? After I prescribed the wrong medication and if the nurse hadn't caught my mistake, he would have died? That won't happen again. Want to bet? I have a feeling Mommy set for a mistake. A fatal mistake. Tabitha, tell me, what is in that box? What are you trying to do to Luis and Sheridan now? That's not an answer. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I'm just going to make that box disappear so whatever's inside it, it can't cause any trouble. <sighs> Trick or treat, treasure, trunk. I didn't make... find anything else suspicious in the kitchen. But he doesn't have all the fancy equipment that the forensic team does. I can't wait to see what they dig up. Look, Dad, I know I've asked you this before, but how can you love her when she is so mean to me? Oh, this from the woman who killed my son. I did not kill your son. That is enough. Now I need to ask you some questions, Carrie. Yeah, ask me whatever you want. I don't have anything to hide. Okay, tell me where... Actually, can we do this later? Yeah. What? Oh, are you leaving town, afraid you're going to be arrested for murder? I'm just tired. Oh, of living a lie. Will you shut up? Just trying to hold you accountable, Kay. Ivy, let me do my job. Thank you. Now, I need some answers, okay? And I need them now. <sighs> How can I answer questions and keep Tabitha from working the wilds on Louise and Sheridan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a long time ago. Yeah. gave me on our first date. <sighs> hey, look. There's a secret compartment in here. So there is. Mm-hmm. Let's open it and see what's inside. All right. <laughs> Jonathan's fever will go down now that I have him on an IV. And if it doesn't? Well, if it doesn't, I have left orders for him to be given a prescription fever reducer. Hmm. Duly noted, Mom. Eve, you seem so fragile emotionally. Well, Jonathan is my first patient since I had that near-fatal mistake prescribing the wrong medication for Mr. Farnsworth when I was drunk. But you learned your lesson. You haven't had a drink since. Yes, but I'm very shaky. And I did have the urge to have a drink. That's why I wanted to come back to my office and just collect myself, even if it meant walking away from a patient, which is something I have never done. I could just relax. I mean, because there's nothing more that you can do for Jonathan right now, and the staff is keeping an eye on him. They'll alert you if there's a problem. You're right, Jillian. Thank you for for being here for me. No, oh, I love you. I'll always be here for you. I'll hold you to that. Well, I'm counting on that now. Come here. <laughs> Why don't you work on calming your frayed nerves while I go, uh, go get you something to eat? Thank you, Julia. Of course, my love. Uh, treating Jonathan was like walking a tightrope. Thank goodness I didn't slip up. Help me, Mommy. I don't want to drown. The water's so cold. I can't hold on much longer. Oh, God. Oh, God, make it stop. Vincent is dead. You said you loved me, Mommy. Don't let me die. God, I couldn't help it. Help me now, Mommy. Don't let me drown. Well, I'm drowning too, Vincent. So, we'll just drown together. Perfect. Now for the next step in my plan. Oh, Mom. She has no clue about how bad things are going to get for her. What are you looking for? My cattle prod? Oh, I must have left it in Jose's cottage. You know, he is our new gardener. <laughs> I'm telling you, what he has south of the border, oh, Dios mio. What do you need a cattle prod for? To zap you into action. You cannot let Teresa tell Ethan that little Ethan is his son. Teresa is not going to say anything to Ethan. Please, how can you be so sure? Because Pilar told her what will happen if she does. Plus, I drove the point home earlier tonight before all this drama with Jonathan happened. Drama? Honey, he has a fever. He just got overheated, okay? That's all. Honey, even I knew something was wrong. And we know how minimal my maternity skills are. I mean, I still remember the very first and only time I ever tried to change your diaper. You know what? Change the subject. Fine. Let's talk about Ethan and Teresa. I said she's not going to tell him that he has two sons. Yeah. What Teresa knows and what she does are two different things. And if Alistair's threats didn't phase her, why on earth do you think yours will? Okay, then why did we blackmail Pilar for Teresa to keep her mouth shut if uh, you don't even think it's going to work? Well, I think 
it should work. I, I mean, Pilar's secret that we found out on JT's USB stick, I mean, it is staggering. I mean, and she knows just how devastating and deadly it could be if it got out, but Teresa is another matter. I mean, who knows what she's going to do? She might just tell Ethan that little Ethan is his son and then deal with the fallout later. I just hope we got him here on time. I mean, if something happens He's to him, and it's my okay. fault that I can get him here. Okay. Thank you for being positive. You're helping me keep it together here. Thank you. I love you. You know, where else would I be? Change the subject. Talk to me about something else, please. Okay. Like what? I don't know. Anything. Uh, back at the mansion. You were going to tell me something about my son, right? That's right. Well, what was it? Um, I think we should wait uh, for Jonathan Sweeper to come Teresa, down. Just, 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 no, just tell me now. Please finish what you were going to tell me about my son. stop Luis and Sheridan from looking inside the box Tabitha conjured. She thinks using evil to break up Luis and Fancy will ransom Miguel and Andorra, but there's no guarantee the dark side will keep up its end of the bargain? Kay, I asked you a question. I'm sorry, what? Are you sure you don't know where Miguel, Tabitha, and Andorra are? What Sam means is, have you forgotten where you buried them after you killed them? I did not kill anyone. Evidence, Kay? The fiber from your sweater... The catnip found in your purse after that, that crazy cat guy was covered in catnip and mauled by a vicious dog. I don't know how the catnip got in my purse. Unless Esme planted it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Make Esme look guilty so you don't. Ivy, stop it. You have this crazy blind spot where your daughter is concerned. No, I need to talk to you. Uh, <laughs> I hope Tabitha hasn't tricked Luis and Sheridan into going at it again. Is Esme with Fancy? Oh, what are you up to, witch? Are you sure you didn't get carried away dominating Jake and accidentally kill him? Uh, no, I'm positive. He must have died of natural causes. Or not. A pin? Well, well that could have hurt, but... Wait, you think Jake died of a pinprick? Well, maybe it was poisoned. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe the tip was dipped in something. I, yeah, I need to get my police kit to make sure. Oh, oh my God. Jake was murdered. But not by me. Uh, I'm Sergeant Schultz here. I know nothing. Uh, uh, maybe the killer left another clue. Okay. Fresh fingerprints. Esme, were you or Jake um, gripping the headboard? Uh, no, we had more interesting things to grip. <laughs> well, if this print isn't yours or Jake's, it could be the killer's. He or she could have killed Jake w when you weren't looking. Why am I watching Fancy unravel a crime scene? Unless whatever Tabitha's up to involves that poor dead cop. This isn't the answer. Okay. It's just my imagination. It's late, and I'm tired. And, and, and seeing Jonathan in distress probably reminded me of my guilt feelings about not being there for Vincent when he was a baby. Even though that wasn't my fault, because they told me that Vincent died the same night that he was born 
And there's no way that I could have known that oh, what hell his life had become. I couldn't help Vincent, but I can help Jonathan. I just have to stay strong and keep my wits about me. And that means no more this. There. Dr. Russell? Yes, doctor. This is Nurse Bice in the ER. The IV that you gave Jonathan Winthrop to lower his fever isn't working. His temperature is still above 100. I see. Should I start Jonathan on the medicine you prescribed in case the IV didn't work? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, as I recall, you left it with Jonathan's chart, correct? Yes, that's right. I, I think that whatever the underlying cause is for Jonathan's fever, we just haven't figured it out yet. of a mother can't do anything right. Nah, this prescription won't just end Jonathan's fever. It'll end his life. I'll have the pharmacy fill the prescription and give it to Jonathan right away. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. And I think that you will see a marked improvement in Jonathan's condition as soon as you administer the medication. You hear that, little man? Dr. Russell says you won't be hurting much longer. Well, one's got that right. Dead babies feel no pain. Yes, and I'll be down there shortly to check on Jonathan's condition. <sighs> Drinking on the job, killing babies. Well, mom's now practice insurance is paid up. Oh, my goodness. It's the mentia I wore at our commitment ceremony in Mexico. <laughs> I, I don't remember putting it away. Wow. You look as beautiful in it now as you did then. <laughs> we really had something special, didn't we? Yeah. My love was so perfect, so pure, everlasting. Well, then it should still be there, shouldn't it? Sheridan and Luis, only you're blocking them, aren't you? <sighs> Look, if you could just stop causing trouble for five minutes, I bet I could come up with a way to find Miguel and Dora without using evil. <sighs> well, you should just at least let me try before he convinces my dad that I'm a murderer. I, I am the cop. This is my investigation. Let me handle it my way. Mm. You have a blind spot where your daughter is concerned. She is a serial killer. I still don't get why Tabitha wants me to see Esme and Fancy. And what's up with this mystery fingerprint? The fingerprints belong to Kay Bennett. Oh, my God. Kay really is a serial killer. What? <gasps> you wicked bitch! You were trying to free me for all those murders, and I will let you out of this bag so you can help clear my name. No, no, I'm not gonna let you do this. You can't blackmail me. I'm not gonna let you win. What on earth? The stress of being under suspicion of murder. Too much for her. Because she's guilty, Sam. She's guilty as sin.
I brought you some clam chowder. Julian, I was just writing you a note. I was going to go to the ER and, and check on Jonathan. I think that you should really have something to eat. You seem a little wobbly on your feet. Uh, no, I, I, I just got up too quickly. I, that's all. But there are plenty of doctors in the ER to keep an eye on Jonathan. I mean, I think that you should... You've been drinking. I couldn't help it. Julian, I'm sorry. It's just I heard Vincent again and he needed help. And... Vincent is dead. I know. But I heard him and he was as clear as you are right now. You really can't go on like this. Come here, sit down. You have to find some way other than drinking to, to deal with your guilt. Julian, I didn't have that much. And I know that numbing myself with alcohol won't solve anything. Look, you were on duty. Now, what if you make another mistake with a, a patient's medication? I didn't. I was here the whole time. Oh, Julian, I know I need help, and I'm going to get help. But right now, I need to go to the ER, because Nurse Spice is going to administer the medication that I prescribed for Jonathan, and I want to be there to, to measure its efficacy. Look, if people realize that you have been drinking, it will be disastrous. They won't realize it. And besides, I wrote Jonathan's prescription before I even had a drink. So I know that I didn't make any mistake. I have the medicine doctor has to prescribe for you, Jonathan. Should it be long now? believe how calm you are. I mean, what with your baby being so sick and your arch enemy, they're just waiting to use it against you. For the last time, Teresa is not going to tell Ethan he's little Ethan's father. Oh, please. Honey, I can just see her wanting to cheer him up by letting him know that he has another son to love, just in case Jonathan... Di you know, in case he dies. Just stop it, okay? Please don't make me worry about Teresa, and for God's sake, don't make me worry about my little boy. Come on. Tell me about my son. Um, it's just a little complicated, you know, to tell you right now. Is it good news? I think so. I just, but I, I need to, you know, tell you the, the whole story from start to finish so you understand why I haven't told you sooner. Okay. Uh, tell you what. I promise you on my son's life that I will not get angry at all about you keeping it from me. Will you tell me then? You promise on your son's life that you won't be angry with me. Yes. I'll tell you. Here you go, sweetheart. Hopefully the medicine that Dr. Russell prescribed will bring your fever down. Not to worry. Jonathan's fever will come to an end. And so will he. As for Dr. Mom... It'll be bye-bye, career. Hello, gutter. Cheers. Eve, my son could die because of you. Oh, let the games begin. How am I supposed to break the news to Chief Bennett that his daughter is a crazed killer? You killed her. You're the murderer.